Indian Army has finally issued request for information for futuristic infantry combat vehicle tracked. The RFI document says the Ministry of Defence Government of India intends to procure an approximately 1750 quantities of futuristic infantry combat vehicles tracked FICB tracked in following three versions. The version 1 FICB tracked gun version which would be approximately 55% of the total quantity. B FICB tracked command version which would be approximately 20% of total quantity and C FICB tracked command and surveillance version which would be approximately 25% of the total quantity the request for information is being issued with a view to finalize service qualitative requirements decide procurement category and identify probable indian vendors who are capable to commence supply of FICB tracked within 2 years of award of contract supply order at least with the deliverables of 75 to 100 fully formed vehicles per year FICB tracked is planned to be procured in the spirit of Make in India and Atmanirbhar Bharat programs the preferred categorization for the project as per provisions of the chapter 2 of the DAP 2020 may be indicated by the vendor with due justifications the RFI is in three parts and the part 1 deals with the intended use of the equipment uh, which says for the terrain conditions FICB tracked will be employed cross country off road operations including amphibious operations in under mentioned terrain conditions what are those a plain and desert terrain as occurring along western borders of india b high altitude up to 5000 meters altitude or mountain terrain as occurring along northern borders that is eastern ladakh central sector north sikkim of india weather conditions FICB track should be operational by day and night and in commonly encountered weather conditions including dust in above terrains temperature conditions the FICB track including all subsystems should be operational in following ambient temperature conditions what are those a plain and desert terrain minimum operating temperature between 0 degree to 5 degree celsius b maximum operating temperature between 40 degree to 45 degree celsius now the b high altitude and mountain terrain what would be the temperature conditions minimum operating temperature should be between minus 20 to minus 10 degree celsius and maximum operating temperature should be 40 degree celsius what are the operational requirements the FICB tracked will be employed in above mentioned terrain and environmental conditions and the following main operational tasks will have to be performed by FICB tracked what are those destroy enemy tanks armored personnel carriers combat vehicles low flying helicopters and other ground based weapon platforms positions b protected mobility to its crew and troops sticks in the above mentioned terrain and in CBRN environment including across water bodies C provide fire support to dismount sticks and what are the technical parameters so important technical parameters include design concept the FICB track should be modular in design thereby lending itself to future upgrades through simple modifications and to facilitate subsequent development of family of armored fighting vehicles afbs like command control icv armored personnel carrier apc armored ambulance mortar carrier command post vehicle reconnaissance and surveillance vehicle nbc reconnaissance vehicle engineer reconnaissance vehicle armored recovery vehicles etc important technical parameters for FICB tracked are given in appendix A of the uh, RFI uh, the three stage induction model says the given complex nature of AFB design and development and requirement to integrate several major systems in the FICB tracked and technological changes over next 10 18 to 20 years induction schedule given at the rate of 75 to 100 per years it is essential that FICB tracked is supplied in the following three stages what are those stage 1 limited series production 
LSP approximately 10% of the total quantity as LSP over 2 years at the rate of 75 to 100 fully formed FICB tract per year. B. Stage 2 product improvement approximately 40% of the total quantity over next 6 to 7 years that is 100 FICB tract per year. These quantities would have to incorporate product improvement aspects learn from exploitation of the LSP model and C says stage 3 first upgrade the final order would include uh, the balance quantities with uh, technical upgrades besides product improvement aspects from stage 2 product what are the general provisions the vendor should confirm that the following conditions are acceptable a the solicitation of offers will be as per single stage two bid systems system it would imply that a request for proposal would be issued soliciting the technical and commercial offer together but in two separate sealed envelopes the validity of commercial offer would be at least 18 months from the date of submitting of offers b the technical offers would be evaluated by a technical evaluation committee TEC to check its compliance with RFP. C. The equipment of all TEC cleared vendors would be put through a trial evaluation at suitable locations in India nominated by the buyer on a no cost, no commitment basis. A staff GS evaluation would be carried out by Army headquarters to analyze the result of field evaluation and to shortlist the equipment for introduction into service. D. Amongst the vendor cleared by GS evaluation, a contract negotiations committee would decide the lowest cost bidder, bidder that is L1 and conclude the approximate contract, appropriate contract. E. Vendor would be bound to provide product support for time period specified in the RFP which includes spares for uh, spares and maintenance tools, jigs, fixtures for field and component level repairs. F. The vendor would be required to accept the general conditions to, of contract given in the standard contract document at chapter 6 of DAP 2020. Offset if applicable. If applicable, the vendor has to undertake defense offsets as per provision given in DAP 2020 for which reference index D to chapter 2 of DAP 2020 is given. Integrity Pact An integrity pact along with approximately IPBG is a mandatory requirement in the instant case. Refer uh, annexure 1 to annexure M of scheduled 1 of DAP. Performance come warranty bond Performance come warranty bond with equal to 5% value of the contract inclusive of taxes and duties or as amended from time to time is required to be submitted after signing of contract. TOT if available applicable. Government of India is desirous of license production of FICB tract after acquiring TOT. So what are the important technical parameters uh, of FICB tract? FICB tract should be configured on a tract changes. Service life vehicle service operational life of at least 32 years with the maximum one overhaul repair intervention transportability capable of being transported by existing in-service tank transporter vehicles of the Indian Army transport aircraft of the Indian Air Force and broad gauge railway military bogey uh, the vehicle the version specific uh, configuration FICV track will have to be supplied in following three versions with broad configuration as under the mobility and production command for all versions. So if we talk about uh, main gun with the coaxial machine, machine gun, gun version it should be one each, command version one each, command and surveillance version one each for anti-tank guided missile there should be 6 in gun version, 4 in command version and 4 in command and surveillance version. Coming to man portable ground launcher, it should be 1 in gun version and it should be nil in command version and nil in command and surveillance version. Loiter munition system, nil in gun version, 1 with at least in command version, 2 projectiles in command version. And the same is 
in command and surveillance version. Mini UAV system VTOL, nil in gun version, nil in command version, but it is required one in command and surveillance version. RCWS with AGS, one in gun version, one in command version, and one in command and surveillance version. Communication, two radio sets BNE in gun version, three radio sets BNE each in command version and command and surveillance version. Silent APU required in all three versions. Crew plus a stick, it should be three plus more than equal to eight in gun version. Three plus more than or equal to four in command version and the same in command and surveillance version. Quantity of FICV tracked, 55% gun version, 20% command version and 25% command and surveillance version. Coming to mobility, the dimensions of FICV are tracked that is length, width and height should meet operational transportability, amphibious flotation and other technical requirements as stipulated in this RFI. Weight, gross vehicle weight should permit flotation while including carriage capacity of minimum 2.5 ton of combat load which include crew stick, all type of ammunition, FOL and combat storage items. C. Power to weight ratio at least 30 HP per ton in plain terrain and gross weight and all system functioning including temperature control unit. D. Carrying capacity that is combat load combat load of 2.5 ton including personnel with all types of ammunition and combat storage items speed should have the following parameters at an average 1 on road speed more than 70 km per hour 2 cross country plain or desert more than 35 km per hour 3 reverse speed on road more than 20 km per hour Obstacle crossing capability should be able to negotiate obstacles with full combat load as under 1. Gradient not less than 30 degree 2. Side slope not less than 20 degree 3. Vertical step not less than 0.8 meters 4. Trench width not less than 2.5 meters 5. Ground clearance not less than 450 millimeter Amphibious flotation should be amphibious at cross weight which include 2.5 ton of combat load without any external aids. It should have positive buoyancy to enable functionality of all onboard systems including sights and weapon systems during flotation. Following minimum flotation parameters are required. AA achieve a minimum speed of 10 km per hour in static water. AB capable to negotiate current speed up to 3 knots, AC, on the move and quick conversion into amphibious and land mode, AD, enable firing from all onboard armaments, AE, field of view of driver to be similar to land mode, AF, angle of entry on hard ground at least 30 degree, AG, angle of exit on hard ground at least 25 degree, AH, angle of entry on soft and loose ground at least 25 degree. AI, angle of exit on soft and loose ground at least 20 degree. Cruising operating range, minimum range of operation of FICV track without external additional fuel tank should be on road at least 400 km, cross country in plane at least 300 km. Engine, Diesel fuel based engine, power pack system preferably front mounted with low thermal and acoustic signature. MESA parameters are as under engine service life at least 1000 hours. Starting mechanism at least two methods of starting engine including electric start with main battery. In addition to these provisions of slave start and tow start to be provided for use in case the main starting system fail. Cold starting FICV tracked should be provided with a suitable system for starting in low temperature up to minus degree 20 degree centigrade. Transmission 
should have an automatic transmission system with hill assist facility and a reduction gear for extra power a steering system it should be a highly reliable power steering and provide precision control of the vehicle or to the driver at various speeds terrain conditions and load levels and provide capability for pivot turn suspension suspension should provide stable platform for accurate firing all armaments while on move and general comfort of all persons inside during cross country move braking system efficient dual and fail safe braking system along with parking brakes main brake it should hold fic we tracked on at least 30 degree gradient even when the engine gets switched off parking brake it should hold the vehicle on at least 30 degree gradient even when the engine gets switched off tracks following specifications are essential minimum life of 5000 km facility to attach in built rubber synthetic pads for driving on tarmac roads mechanism for automatic remote adjustment of track tension minimum four extra track links with connector pins should be provided as part of on board spta kit tracks and its associated subsystems horns road wheels support rollers sprockets etc should be designed to prevent shedding of tracks while moving in desert loose sand self recovery independent self recovery mechanism capable of winching fcv track with cross weight at a gradient of 25 degree on hard ground from a minimum distance of 15 meters armament firepower the fcv track should have a crew less turret which can traverse 360 degree unlimited times in either direction the following armament should be incorporated in the turret what are those armaments a anti tank guided missile atgm under which one type a minimum third generation top attack atgm should be provided it should be capable to give under mentioned performance by day and night in terrain and ambient temperature conditions specified in this rfi what is that a accuracy hit probability of not less than 90 degree 90% in stated terrain and temperature conditions including on a tank that is nato tank target moving literally at a speed of at least 15 km per hour while the fcv track is moving towards it at the same speed on level ground ab that is range the maximum range should not be less than 4000 meter and minimum range should not be more than 500 meter ac penetration penetration at least 650 mm rh beyond era launch soft launch with smokeless propellant seeker dual mode seeker to enable engagement of hot and cold targets in various visibility conditions facility of auto seeker lock on target af man in loop capable to fire and update that is re- refine the impact point at terminal stage switch target mid flight ag guidance system wireless guidance system ah warhead interchangeable anti armor anti personnel warhead multi purpose anti armor blast penetration and he warheads ai fuse impact and programmable air burst fuse for he warhead weight atgm with launch tube should be man portable by a single soldier in combat mode rate of fire simultaneous launch system to be capable of simultaneous firing one atgm each by gunner and commander to engage same different targets in the in their common field of view successive launch in the gun version the system should be capable to launch at least four atgms within 30 seconds in other versions the system should be capable to launch at least two atgms within 15 seconds storage and launchers a storage of minimum 6 atgms on board the fcv track conversion and 4 atgms on board other versions should be provided launchers should preferably be provided on the turret however the quantity of launchers may be decided by vendor based on method plan for achieving rate of fire mentioned at paragraph 6a 2 above in case 
stage of reserve ATGMs is being planned, the crew should be able to quickly reload the onboard reserve missiles on the launches from inside the FICB track either mechanically or manually without using any tool or equipment. Sighting system. The sighting system should be common same as the main gun. Both commanders and gunners should be able to acquire, track and engage with missiles from respective stations. Detail of sighting systems are given subsequently at paragraph 6k ahead. Missile control unit. The control unit including gun control equipment and video for acquiring targets. Launch and tracking of missiles to be com common to, all, to that of main gun and to be integrated with the FCS of FICB tracked. B. Man portable ground launcher. In addition to the launches fitted on the FICB tracked, provision of a main portable ground launcher for ATGM to be provided in FICB tracked gun version. The ground launcher should be capable of firing the same missile mounted on the FICB tracked. It should have following specifications. 1. It should consist of the following main components that is command and launcher unit, sighting system, day and thermal imaging site, mounting unit along with hardness, weight, complete ground launcher with mounting unit and sighting system should weigh not more than 15 kgs. Battery, rechargeable battery with endurance of at least 8 hours. Facility of charging the battery from FICB tracked or external source should be provided. Activation, activation into ground configuration from FICB tracked and vice versa should not involve use of any mechanical tools. Loiter munition system. Type, a tube canister launcher loiter munition system with the capability to observe, identify and destroy non-line of sight targets with all the way man in loop control and lock on after launch LOL to be provided in FICB tracked command version and command and surveillance version as per configuration given at para 4 above. It should give minimum under mentioned performance by day and night in terrain and ambient temperature conditions specified in this RFP. Accuracy 100% hit probability including on a moving target while FICB tracked is static. Range, the range of data link to be at least 10 kilometers with loiter time of at least 60 minutes. Warhead target, multi-mission capability and effective against armored vehicles as well as personnel. The loiter munitions should also have top attack capability. Propulsion, a smokeless launch and low acoustic propulsion system should be preferably provided. Flight modes, at least fly to coordinates, fly by camera lock abort and recovery modes to be provided. Sighting system. The sighting system should uh, be on board the loiter munition and capable of fly-by camera lock facility. It should transmit real-time day, night target intelligence to F FCS of FICB tracked. Both commander and gunner to be able to acquire, track and engage loiter munition from respective stations. Munition control unit. The munition control unit should be integrated with the FCS of the FICB tract. Abort, recovery and reuse capability should be provided. Stoyage launchers. At least two ready to launch loiter munition to be provided on FICB tract. Stoyage of minimum two additional loiter munition should be provided. Quantity of launchers may be decided by vendor based on methods planned for reloading subsequent loiter munitions. In case multiple launchers are not being provided, storage of reserve loiter munitions should be so planned that the crew stick should be able to quickly reload them on the launchers from inside the FICB tract either mechanically or manually without using any special tools or equipment. Data Terminal Unit the data terminal unit or DTU for communication link and for controlling the loiter munition should be provided on board FICV tract with minimum deployment time and should not interfere with simultaneous firing of other weapons of FICV tract. Mini UAV system type command and surveillance version of FICV tract to be provided with mini UAV system at a scale of one mini UAV per vehicle as per configuration given at para 4 above of the RFP. The mini UAV system will be used for beyond line of sight intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance ISR. The mini UAV should be compact, have vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL capability and continuous secure interface with its parent FICB track during flight. Capability 
it should have suitable payload for ISA to give undimensioned performance by day and night in terrain and ambient temperature conditions specified in this RFI. Fully autonomous, that is, able to reach given location on a pre-designated route with and without control by pilot. Endurance of at least 60 minutes, fly by camera lock, fly by coordinate and auto target tracking ability with zoom in and hover facility. Transmit HD colored and TI images video to parent FICV tract in real time. Send accurate own location and height to parent FICV tract. The range of mini UAV is uh, its data link to be at least 10 km with endurance of at least 60 minutes. Altitude above sea level. Ceiling, if any, should permit operations in HAA terrain as mentioned in RFI. The ISR payload should have a DRI of at least 532 km. Securely send accurate coordinate and range data of target located at least 5 km away from mini UAV to en enable engagement by other weapon systems like mortars, loiter munition, artillery, attack helicopters, etc. To be launched and controlled from inside FICV tract. Ability to automatically avoid collision, terrain obstacles including vegetation during flight. Ability to automatically return to parent FICV tract when low on power and adverse weather and wind conditions. Ability to automatically land and dock to parent FICV tract. Ability to recharge onboard battery and upload download data when docked to FICV tract. Systems to be integrated to FCS and image data be displayed on existing VDUs. Wind resistance of at least 40 km per hour. Ground control station. The ground control station for secure communication link and payload control during flight should be integrated to FCS of FICV tract to provide location coordinates of mini UAV and target on digital map, real time video streaming, and subsequent engagement by onboard other weapon systems. Docking bay. A suitable docking bay to be provided on FICV tract to enable secure docking of mini UAV when not in flight. The docking bay apart from providing protection from dust, water, splinters etc. should enable charging of non charging of onboard batteries and data upload download from its payload. Main gun. The main gun should be integrated to FCS of FICV tract and its sighting system. Both commanders and gunners should be able to acquire, track and engage targets with the main gun from respective stations. It should be capable of firing at least 30mm caliber ammunition both in direct firing and anti-aircraft role. The main gun should be capable of accurately and selectively fire on the move different types of ammunition. The main gun should have the following capability specifications. Likely targets, armored vehicles at least 2000 meter range. Dismounted vehicle born personnel at least 4000 meter range, field fortifications at least 4000 meter range, helicopters, slow moving aircraft, and unmanned drones at least 2500 meters. Desired effect on target the ammunition of the main gun should have the following capability anti armor, a suitable round of penetrate armor at least 70 mm RHA when fired at 60 degree from 1000 meter. Crew should be able to see flight trajectory of anti-armor round. Anti-field fortification is suitable round to breach at least 300 mm reinforced concrete when fired from 1500 meters. Anti-aircraft and personnel is suitable round having capability to effectively destroy helicopters, slow moving aircraft, unmanned drones and personnel in open with fragments. Target practice tracer TPT. Target practiced ammunition with tracers which are ballistically matched with the anti-armor ammunition should be provided for training gunners and per preserving live ammunition. Quantity requirement per year will be intimated in RFP. Drill rounds, dummy ammunition with size, shape and weight similar to anti-armor and anti-aircraft personnel should be provided for training of crew in gunnery aspects. Quantity 30 rounds to be provided per FICV tract as part of SPTA. Anti-armor ammunition at least 80% in single shot mode in stated terrain and temperature conditions including on target NATO tank target moving literally at a speed of at least 15 km per hour while the FICV tract is moving towards it at the same speed on level ground. Anti-field fortification aircraft personnel at least 80% in single shot mode. 
rate of fire apart from single shot mode of firing the main gun should have capability to fire all types of ammunition in at least two additional modes standard and rapid to cater for rapid engagements and to compensate for accuracy feeding system main gun should have maximum onboard ammunition in ready to fire mode with a suitable feeding system to enable selective firing chambering of anti armor anti field fortification and anti aircraft personal ammunition elevation and depression angles at least 74 degree elevation and 4 degree depression from level position ammunition storage at least 500 rounds with not less than 200 rounds of anti armor and 300 rounds of anti aircraft personnel and anti field fortification is ready to fire mode alternate manual firing in case of failure of main electric circuit alternate means of firing should be provided to the crew provision should be made for at least the gunner to have access to the crewless turret from his location inside FICB track to manually operate turret sights and gas targets with all weapons and undertake manual loading unloading cocking firing immediate repairs including rectification of faults misfires jams etc apart from individual hatches at least one hatch should also be provided on the turret for entry exit of crew in emergency situation machine gun coaxial one machine gun capable of firing at least 7.62 mm ammunition mg to be mounted coaxially to the main gun it should be integrated to the fcs of the fcb tract its sighting system gce and video should be same as that of main gun both commander and gunner should be able to acquire track and engage targets with the mg from respective stations the mg should be capable of acquire accurate firing on the move the coaxial mg should have the following capability or specifications likely targets dismounted personnel at least 2000 meter range vehicle detachments at least 2000 meter range helicopters unmanned drones at least 1000 meter range desired effect on target the ammunition of mg should have the capability to penetrate at least sta nag level 3 armor when fired from 30 meter crew should be able to see flight trajectory of bullets minimum effective range should be 1000 meters rate of fire apart from single shot mode of firing mg should have capability to fire in at least two additional modes standard and rapid to cater for rapid engagements and to compensate for accuracy loading and feeding system mg should have a suitable ammunition loading and feeding system which can be operated by crew from inside the fcb tract in case of power failure alternate means of firing should be provided ammunition storage ammunition storage of mg should be at least 2000 rounds in ready to fire mode accuracy minimum 30% uh, in single shot mode in stated terrain and temperature conditions elevation and depression same as the main gun remote controlled weapon stations with automatic grenade launcher system one ags with an effective range of at least 1700 meter capable of firing at least 30 mm ags ammunition should be mounted on a remote controlled weapons station rcws on the turret over and above the stated height of fcb tract however overall height of fcb tract to not exceed 3.5 meters the rcws should have a suitable independent combined electric dray and ti sighting system however it should be integrated with fcs of the main gun commander and gunner should be able to independently acquire track and engage targets from respective station while the other crew may be engaging targets with main gun coaxial mg atgm ammunition storage for ags should be at least 250 rounds in ready to fire mode the rcws should be so designed that it can be used as a flexible mission pod which provides capability for subsequent replacing the ags with installation of additional weapons like 7.62 mm or 12.7 mm machine gun directed energy weapons laser or other weapon systems fire control systems fcs The FICB tract should have a computer-based FCS integrating all armaments, sights, RCWS, LRFs, ballistic computer, automatic target tracker, control units for loiter ammunition, and ATGM, mini UAV, GCE, armament stabilizers, meteorological sensors, navigation system, communication system, laser warning system, active protection system, etc. It should provide following minimum facility regarding firing of weapons. Accuracy, assist in achieving stated accuracy of all armaments in stated terrain and temperature conditions including while target the FICB are both moving. feeding of data all firing related input should be automatically fed into the fcs from various sources and it should also have a facility for manual inputs independent control to commander 
while gunner is engaging targets from main gun mg atgms and commander should be able to independently undertake following tasks detect acquire range tra tra track target from its his site bring aimed fire from agm mounted on rcws with stated accuracy launch mini uav launch loiter munition override facility full override by commander to control and fire all the selected on board weapons including loiter munition atgm and rcws with stated accuracy hunter killer commander to have facility of de designating a target and handing it over to gunner for subsequent tracking engagement by all weapons redundancy gunner and commander should have the facility to use sights including lrf of each other simultaneous engagement feasibility to fire com combination of weapons by gunner and commander simultaneously like rcws main gun main gun loiter munition atgm loiter munition etc auto target tracker artificial intelligence enabled to auto detect digitally mark and track targets including aerial targets drones mini uav and loiter munition integration the gcs of mini uav system and dtu of loiter munition system should be integrated to fcs to enable operations from inside fcb track including engaging targets by on board other external weapon systems gun control equipment gc the gun control equipment should have the following capability fully integrated with fcs sight and visual display units to permit electrically acquiring targets and firing launching of all armaments of FICV tract including loiter munitions and mini uav traverse all armaments including rcws and commander's panoramic sight cps 360 degree unlimited times in either directions elevate all armaments including rcws quotes and fire lying of all armaments and varying power traverse and elevation controls independent gc control unit to be provided to both gunner and commander both control unit should be identical however commander's control unit should have additional aspects for operations of cps override control loiter munition mini uav etc in case of failure of main system manual alternate means of traversing turret elevated main gun and firing launching of all armaments including loiter munition and mini uav to be provided to both gunner and commander firing port holes one port hole on the rear to be provided for firing of one personal weapon stick from inside the FICV track vision surveillance devices all digital vision surveillance sites should provide natural high resolution hd colored images videos all optical electrical sites and their displays should be military grade waterproof dust proof have defogging and self cleaning system the following types of sighting systems are desired in FICV track one optical vision devices apart from electronic sights independent general vision optical periscope sights with at least 160 degree combined horizontal field of view to each crew member commander gunner and driver should be provided driver's sight uncooled combined color day and thermal sight passive with image fusion technology to be provided it should have an Im identification range of at least 500 meters and at least 160 degree lateral field of view fov the image should be displayed in such a manner that the driver should be able to accurately precisely and comfortably drive the fcv tracked in all terrain weather and operational conditions given this rfi without use of any other vision device or external aid facility to display real time day and ti video of the vehicle's rear up to at least 50 meter should be provided the sight should be integrated to the fcs for relevant functions like navigation tactical communication vehicle performance diagnostic data etc gunner's main sight the fcv track should have a dedicated electronic day and ti sight for gunner with following characteristics should be fully stabilized sight integrated with fcs lrf gc and att capable of day and ti image fusion minimum dri ranges to be achieved are detection 8 km recognition 5 km and identification 4 km for a nato standard tank target of size 2.3 m into 2.3 m gunner to be able to independently detect acquire range track and bring precision aimed fire using all armament by uh, visualize main gun mg rcws and atgms with stated accuracy artificial intelligence enabled to automatically detect digitally mark and track targets including aerial targets drones one lrf to be integrated with the gms 
it should have an accuracy of at least 1 meter maximum range of 10 kilometers and a minimum range of 400 meters data from lrf to be displayed on vdu and integrated with fcs and gce commander's panoramic sight the FICV track should have a dedicated panoramic site for commander with following characteristics. Should have technical specifications similar to GMS. Should have capability of independent movement from turret, unlimited 360 degree traverse in azimuth, at least 74 degree elevation and 4 degree depression. Commander to be able to independently detect, acquire, range, track and bring aimed fire from all armaments, visualize, main gun, MG, RCWS and ATGM with stated accuracy. Facility to designate a target and handing it over to gunner for subsequent tracking engagement. Artificial intelligence enabled to automatically detect, digitally mark and track targets including aerial targets, drones. Should be able to electronically elevate at least 500 mm above turret for 360 degree surveillance including firing of weapons. One LRF to be integrated with the GMS, it should have an accuracy of at least 1 meter, maximum range of 10 km and a minimum range of 400 meters. Data from LRF to be displayed on VDU and integrated with FCS and GCE. Visual display units. Suitably placed military grade independent VDUs should be available to all crew members to view input from respective electronic sites as well as inputs fed from other electronic sites through the FCS including from the RCWS situational awareness system, loiter munition and a mini UAV. The videos for commander and gunner should display natural high resolution HD colored view by day and night either on suitably placed display panel. Additionally, head helmet mounted display to be provided for crew to display critical inputs for primary functions. Quality of image video should enable automatic manual adjustment of brightness, contrast and focal length to suit individual users. Videos should permit touch screen functions to execute certain actions of GCE control unit. Suitable number of display panels should also be installed in stick compartment to provide view from the commander's side to personal sitting as stick. To increase crew's mission efficiency, terrain tactical situational update as well as armament vehicle performance and diagnostic data should be displayed overlaid in digital form on the videos and head helmet mounted displays. Situational Awareness System A suitable situational awareness solution to provide day and night real-time near-natural 360-degree vision around the FICV track under closed hatches to the commander should be provided. The system should produce a real-time fully stitched video and should allow commander to see through the FICV track in real-time in visual and infrared thermal modes up to at least 500 meter. The situational awareness system should be integrated to the FCS of FICV track and the output from it should should be provided to commander on a head-up display aligned to direction of the head. The output should also be available on the videos of the commander and in the stick compartment. Protection Front, sides and top A modular armor-based system to provide at least STA energy 5 level protection in frontal arc, at least STA energy 4 level on other sides including top. Facility of additional STA energy 6 level protection in the frontal arc by means of removable armor panel should be provided. Belly at least STA energy level 3B blast glasses at least Stenag 2 level. Laser warning system a LWS integrated to the FCS should be provided. When activated, it should be capable of detecting all kinds of lasers directed on the FICV tract and provide audiovisual warnings to the crew. In addition to warnings, there should be provision to selectively activate deactivate following reactions when laser is directed. 1. Simultaneous initiation of anti-thermal and anti-laser atal smoke screen in direction of incoming laser. 2. Automatically point CPS to the laser source. 3. Automatically traverse the turret to the laser source and fire a pre-designated weapon on it. 4. Provision to manually fire atal smoke shells in a desired direction for use as a smoke screen. Active Protection System APS a standalone APS to effectively counter incoming direct and top attack ATGMs, drones, rocket propelled grenades, and KE ammunition to be provided. Spell liners. The interior of the crew and stick compartment should be fitted with spell liners to prevent injury to crew from fragments. 
CBRN protection system capable to detect all known types of chemical agents and nuclear radiations and provide protection to the crew, stick and subsystems against CBRN contamination for at least 6 hours continuously. Water moisture and dust protection. All sites, sensors and subsystems which are mounted on the exterior of FICV tract should be water, moisture and dust proof. No water and dust should enter into the crew, stick and engine compartments when all hatches are shut. In case there is ingress of water, effective village pump should be provided for automatic and manual extraction of water to ensure no degradation in positive buoyancy and all systems of FICV tract remain functional. Protection against fire. A fire suppression system must be provided to automatically extinguish all kinds of fire inside crew stick and engine compartments including turret. Additionally, sufficient quantities of manual fire extinguishing equipment should also be provided for extinguishing fire outside the FICB tract and within crew stick compartments. Communication FICB tract should have following communication facilities. FICB tract gun version to have quantity of 2 radio sets and FICB tract command, command and surveillance version to have quantity 3 radio sets. The radio set should be located within arm's reach of crew commander and all in service radio sets BNE will have to be installed. A suitable digital control harness DCH for voice connection between the crew members including stick commander to be provided. The DCH should also enable reception transmission of data from to another FICB tract in radio communication range. Hands free and cordless microphone and earphone system mounted on an integrated headgear helmet. The system should have a range of 500 meter so as to enable communication with the FICB tract and all stations when dismounted. Tactical section commander to be provided a lightweight helmet mounted hands free VHF radio sets. Navigation system FICV track should have an in service BNE advanced land navigation system ALNS which is combined satellite and inertial navigation system. It should have following additional features. Data input, crew commander, stick commander and driver should be able to independently input data instructions to the navigation system through keys and voice. Data received from other source like mini UAV, loiter munition, radio communication etc. should also be integrated and displayed. Display panel, no separate display panel for navigation systems to be provided. The navigation data should be displayed, overlaid in form of user friendly symbols, text on video use or GMS, CPS, stick commander and driver. Commander should be able to observe navigation screen of driver and feed navigation data into waypoints, destination etc. into driver's system. Battlefield management system. A suitable and inbuilt BMS along with identity, friend or foe system should be integrated into the FICV track. The location coordinates of one FICV track should be automatically transferred at regular intervals to all other FICV track vehicles within radio communication range. The location of other FICV track vehicles should be displayed on video of crew commander in form of symbols duly superimposed on a terrain map. A suitable IFF system based on location and artificial intelligence should also be integrated in the BMS. Miscellaneous technical specifications. The following additional technical features should be incorporated. Subsystems and assemblies. The design of the subsystem should be modular to the maximum extent possible with easy accessibility to ensure quick replacement of faulty modules, subassemblies. All markings, manuals and literature should be in English and Hindi language. Temperature control system. A suitable temperature control system for sensitive equipment crew and stick with capability to maintain 20 degree to 24 degree centigrade temperature in an ambient temperature range between plus 40 degree centigrade to plus 45 degree centigrade summer and 24 degree centigrade to 28 degree centigrade temperature in an ambient temperature range between minus 20 degree centigrade to minus 10 degree centigrade winter to be provided. It should have provision of spot cooling, heating of critical electrical components and for holding life-saving injections medicines. Auxiliary power unit. An inbuilt silent APU should be provided in FICV tract. APU should supply electric power for minimum 6 hours when engine is switched off. APU should be able to concurrently operate the following systems of FICV tract. Gunner commander and driver sites at least 6 into 360 degree rotations of the turret in each hour for 6 hours. Fire control system including firing of all armaments, loiter munition firing and control, mini UAV launching and control, radio sets, 
इंटर कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम डिजिटल कंट्रोल हार्नेस नेविगेशन इक्विपमेंट सैटेलाइट नेविगेशन ओनली सिचुएशनल अवेयरनेस सिस्टम ऑल प्रोटेक्शन सिस्टम्स इंक्लूडिंग काउंटर मेजर सिस्टम्स स्मोक जनरेशन इंजन शुड बी केपेबल ऑफ जनरेटिंग कॉन्टीन्यूस स्मोक फॉर एटलीस्ट थ्री मिनट्स अगोनॉमिक्स द सीटिंग अरेंजमेंट इंक्लूडिंग लेग रूम ऑरियंटेशन एंड पोस्चर शुड फैसिलिटेट कॉन्टीन्यूस ऑपरेशन बाई क्रू एंड स्टिक वाइल ट्रेवलिंग अंडर ऑपरेशनल कंडीशन सीट्स ब्लास्ट एटीनुएटिंग क्वेश्चन सीट्स विद शॉक टैंपनर्स हेडरेस्ट एंड बिल्ट इन फाइव पॉइंट सीट बेल्ट फॉर स्टिक एंड क्रू फोर वे एडजस्टेबल एंट्री एग्जिट फॉर क्रू एंड स्टिक हैचेस इंडिविजुअल एंट्री एग्जिट हैचेस फॉर ईच क्रू टू बी प्रोवाइडेड एडिशनल हैच शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड ऑन टेरेट फॉर इमरजेंसी एग्जिट एंट्री ऑफ क्रू एंड स्टिक सफिशियंट हैचेस फॉर एग्जिट एंट्री शुड ऑल्सो बी प्रोवाइडेड ऑन रूफ ऑफ स्टिक कंपार्टमेंट दीज हैचेज वैन ओपन शुड एनेबल स्टिक इन यूजिंग द पर्सनल वेपन्स वैन फायरिंग फ्राम इन साइड स्टिक कंपार्टमेंट रैम्प डो वन पार असिस्टेड रैम्प टाइप डो ऑन द रियर हल वॉल फॉर एंट्री एग्जिट ऑफ स्टिक क्रू टू बी प्रोवाइडेड Facility to manually mechanically operate the ramp should also be provided to cater for failure of main operating system. Stowage facility, dedicated customized modular and directly accessible stowage facility should be provided for following items: internal stowage, personal weapons, ammunition reserve, ATGMs and loiter munitions, first aid kits and combat equipment of crew and stick, external stowage, camouflage net, outer protective cover for vehicles. and outer shelter for crew and stick dedicated internal external storage for all spare parts tools and accessories spta should be provided ammunition loading the loading unloading of all type of ammunition and ammunition belts including atgms and loiter ammunition into the fcv tract under field conditions should be assisted by mechanical electric means Water storage provision for 225 liters of drinking water should be provided in FICV tract at same temperature that it exists inside stick compartments. Suitable inlets, outlets, drainage, plumbing, and provisions for cleaning should be provided. Tow hooks, sufficient tow hooks with ropes and recovery accessories should be provided in front and rear for towing FICV tract through mud, sand, slush, snow, etc. hoisting hooks for complete fcv tract and also for independent hoisting to its major sub systems like turret engine transmission system coolers apu etc should be provided contour lights contour lights on all sides with facility to individually control brightness blink static and color red amber green and white to be provided covers and shelters waterproof cover for fcv tract designed to be used as an external shelter for crew and stick should be provided shelter for crew and stick should be separate it should be made from fire resistant material and have dedicated storage space on the vehicle paint vehicle should be painted with anti ir paint in terrain specific camouflage pattern as approved by user maintainability modular systems and subsystems to be provided to enable quick replenishment and repairs at field workshop level maintenance transfer of technology for sustenance of fcv tract should be provided maintenance repairs and overhaul mro philosophy should be aligned to following levels of repairs for this you can refer appendix e to schedule 1 of chapter 2 dap unit organizational one one level repairs carried out in the unit holding the equipment including replacement of minor components sub assemblies which do not require any special maintenance tools field organizational two level repairs by a field workshop involving replacement of components major sub assemblies which may require special maintenance tools supported by diagnostic using special test equipment test jigs built in test equipment facility intermediate one level repairs beyond the scope of field workshop which requires sophisticated special test equipments test jigs for diagnostics these include repairs to rotables sub assemblies through repairs replacements of pcbs modules components base depot d level base repair capability is established to avoid dependence on manufacturer in terms of factory repairs these repairs include component level repairs of rotables assemblies which may be major unit assembly modules pcbs built in test equipment bite artificial intelligence based built in diagnostic facility for all major systems and critical sub assemblies should be provided quality assurance fcb tracked and all systems should be robust in construction and comply to following gss 55555 military standard 
461E for EME, EMC parameters. Training aids. The following training aids should be planned to be provided. Skill will be given RFP. Integrated technical training simulations for driving and gunnery aspects. Individual simulators for loiter munition, mini UAB and for training on tactical employment of FICV tract at battalion level. Sectionized working models and cut models of all major and minor assemblies. AR, VR and computer based training packages for honing skills to operate, maintain and repair all automotive and armament subsystems. This is it uh, for the special qualitative requirements of the Indian Army with regards to FICV tract. If in case uh, you are a manufacturer and want to see the more details of RFI, you can find the RFI link in the description of this video. Hope you like this. Please do share. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind. Vande Matram.